I'm Pat Churchman. Uh, my partner there is uh, Nick Stapello, and we're the founders of Flashpoint Building Systems. The problem that we were solving for really was coordination in the trades. Having both of us come from a commercial construction background, we kept seeing the same thing happening on our job sites, which was a lack of skilled labor force. Um, and then that labor force not being able to accurately either read the plans or then uh, communicate those to then their laborers and then their laborers not really working with the next trade that was coming in. Uh, kind of an example being the framer not looking at electrical drawings, the electrical not looking at plumbing and these issues not really being coordinated appropriately on the architectural end of it either. So the system that we came up with was essentially we provide something called the ILS, which is the integrated layout system. And what we do is we comb through the drawings. Uh, we find uh, things such as header information, structural information, and we go through the MEPs with the architectural plans. And we create a combined set that's basically one drawing. And then from there, we take that one drawing and we laser engrave that onto the subfloor of uh, the house. So it's all done pre-manufactured. So Panels get uh, basically a number and a letter designation, kind of like a like a battleship grid. Uh, you'd have uh, row A, row B, and then one, two, three, four. Each piece gets, for lack of a better term, the piece of the puzzle that it needs to be. And if it needs to get pre-cut, it gets pre-cut, and then it gets palletized and sent out as a full bunk. So the contractor gets a laminated map, and it tells them how to install it, but it's pretty intuitive as you just pull sheets off the top uh, and start laying them down. What this gives you though is at the end of the installation, as you're laying the sheets down, it's starting to form this picture of the floor plan. So it gives you all of your wall layout, uh, your electrical layout, your plumbing layout, basically anything that we can include on the drawings can be included onto the sub floor. And then we take things such as, like I said, notes that might be hidden in schedules and things like that. We make those readily available where they need to be. If you're walking on the floor plan and you see a door, it's going to show you the door swing and it's going to give you notes that tell you what height, what rough opening that door needs to be, uh, the header size and schedule, any structural notes there. It's going to show where the electrical is uh, in that room as you walk into it. Pretty much all that information contained onto the floor. And then the benefit that we found for Laser engraving over a printed solution is the laser engraving holds up in the inclement weather. Uh, we're founded out of Boise, Idaho. And so we've got quite a few wet days and snow days and mud getting tracked in on it, uh, snow, rain, all of that. It will withstand all of that um, through to the end of the project. So are you doing the manufacturing? Do you have any access to that? Or are you just purchasing from manufacturers? We are currently doing the manufacturing ourselves. We'll work with uh, the home builder, we get the set of plans, we go through all that and then create the system. We're, uh, we actually work with the lumber dealer locally. When the material comes out, it's included with the house package that you would normally purchase. So are you involved really early on in the pre-construction process? We like to be involved pretty early on, though usually if you've got permanent drawings, that's what we like to go off of just because things tend to change uh, before then. Can you talk a little bit about the pain points, I don't know if you have any numbers or even at this point, if you can compare with, you know, labor saved or time, you know, just time in general, saved costs, anything like that? Big picture, the, the immediate advantage of our system is part of the actual construction schedule remains unchanged, right? The actual delivery of the material to the job site, the installation method that the labor on site is used to. Uh, is the exact same process as what they're familiar with. The exception being all the economies that come along with it from the time that it arrives on site. We take the saw out of the, the labor's hands so they don't have to cut any of the pieces. They can just turn and burn, get the pieces down, glued and nailed. And then at that point, once they give themselves enough real estate where they're comfortable enough to start framing walls on top of that floor, half of the crew can still be laying the floor out while the other half drops back and starts erecting walls the very same day. The layout quite literally is complete as soon as, for, for whatever area you're in, as soon as that piece goes down, because everything else before and after that is relative to that piece. And so from there, you know, regardless of what is or is not installed currently, that's where that piece needs to go. From an actual cost and time savings, cost is relative to time in this industry, as we all know, but right out of the gate, because we can avoid the labor that it takes to actually pull uh, string lines, measure, interpret the drawings, we're anticipating that it's at minimum a day's uh, worth of work for at least two people for every trade on the job. 
Now, that's just the immediate savings relative to the, the traditional layout process. But the other savings that we provide are, I'll say management, because when we go through the drawings in the front end, we go through and make sure that we identify anything that we know is gonna be a conflict from a coordination standpoint before anything gets put in place. If a floor joist is in the same spot as a plumbing penetration, we provide a document that says that before anything gets installed to the builder. So they know to either correct that change in the plans before anything gets installed, or they know to specifically address that. Effectively, what we're trying to do is make sure that it gets built per the plan, but then also that the plan is uh, truly constructible. So I was going to ask you about that. How, you know, what if there is an error, I don't know, a door swing in the wrong way or something and you don't notice. <laughs> yeah, so that's, planned for that's part of our process as we go through and identify those things to the builder in hopes of correcting them before they cost money. I also think there's savings to be had in terms of people putting things in the right place in the first place. So there's the, there's the oops factor savings that you have. So you have the process savings in the front, and then you have the, the quality control risk issue savings on the back end that there has to be some sort of impact on as well. Big picture, it, it boils down to accountability. And then at that point, who has the most clout to get away with maybe building something that's a deviation in the plans. There's a lot of individuals that show up to a job site. And then there's a lot of those same individuals that that may be their first or second time having ever done something that they're being told they need to do at that location. So it's a constant school up for those individuals that takes time. Whereas if you can empower somebody to walk on and it's intuitive when they, they step foot on the job site, where things go, and they know through that tool that they're putting them in the right spot, there's a lot of confidence that get, gets built in those folks that otherwise are just kind of doing what they're told and hoping that whoever told them to do it that way knew what they were talking about. I just had one last question about any particular project that you, um, that this has been used on and what's the feedback you're getting from users? Uh, so we've been working with a couple national home builders uh, doing some pilot projects right now. We're, a, we're still a small company looking to grow, but the immediate feedback has been that they're at least the framing crew is working about uh, twice the speed. Part of that, again, is just access to information, things that are buried in a, in a plan set that, especially with this crew that we were working with, it's a largely Hispanic framing crew with one guy basically that speaks English and that guy is supervising multiple job sites. So for his crew to be able to visually see what they need to do uh, rather than have to dig through the plans, he said that made a huge difference. The other thing too with that is being able to coordinate with uh, the building inspector out there. They've got a series of inspections and having the information that's going to be inspected clearly available, it makes it easier on, on building inspector as well. Uh, they come out and they're able to quickly identify and really get a good idea of what the project is without having to dig through plans before they walk onto the job. So those have been kind of the, the immediate consequences. We're waiting to see how the life cycle uh, costs change for those projects versus ones that are identical built next to them. But right now, everything's looking really positive. Oh, that's great. Uh, and you guys are like in grad school still or something. So this is, right, this is your first venture. It's pretty amazing. Congratulations <laughs> on, on winning the award. And maybe you could talk a little bit later about that specific uh, program that, that got you started. 